Welcome back students. In this short video I'm going to um, shortly introduce you uh, to JavaScript and its uh, syntax. So let's get started. Basically um, in this is the first video in the series to introduction of the JavaScript. First we will start with the theoretical overview of the how to declare variables, uh, what are objects, dictionaries and function in JavaScript. And then in the subsequent videos we are going to apply it on a simple examples uh, for remote sensing and JS applications, for geospatial uh, analysis applications in Google Earth Engine. So hopefully you would at the end of those uh, see of this section you would have a clearer understanding on how to use JavaScript uh, in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. The first one uh, and maybe a very important for you is uh, how we comment uh, the script. So uh, line comments start with two forward slashes like this lane. And uh, this is used very often, for example, uh, to uh, comment pieces of the script that you want to be implemented, you want to be run. You can also use multi-line comments start with a forward slash and a star and end with a star and a forward slash as shown here uh, in this example, yeah, basically. Um, so as I said, uh, this could be used, for example, uh, for explaining your code, yeah, and this is a very good practice further on when you will have more complex codes. It's very good practice to add description, explanations, comments to your uh, uh, codes to document them and make them reusable also for you because uh, with the time we tend to forget what we have been doing. Well, uh, variables are very uh, central part uh, in JavaScript and they are used to store objects and are defined user, uh, using the keyword var. So basically to, um, uh, to declare a variable we uh, use a keyword var and for example variable uh, earth equals two. Yeah, so this uh, basically um, in this way we have uh, declared uh, variable earth and variable uh, the answer. So the, in variable the answer we store a value 42 and in variable earth we store um, value 2. Let's see what will this variable return. So for example when you want to print it you have to uh, write print. This is a function and in the brackets you have to write what you want to print. Yeah. Um, so you have also to take uh, care and not to use uh, caps, law, caps, um, letters uh, in 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 JavaScript. So when I write print the answer, you see in console basically the code return me uh, forty two because uh, in variable uh, the answer we store the uh, value of forty two. If I write print the answer and errors. And then I run, write it, the, the code will return the results of both of my variables. Yeah. So uh, this is how to define variables. We have also uh, string objects that sta start and end with a single quote. So you can also store in the variables text, so which is string. And you can, uh, for, for using this, you can um, basically use either uh, single quote, quotes or uh, double quotes, but you should be consistent. If you start with a single quote, you should end your statement with a single quote. And if we print this, and run, you see, the, uh, this small code return us um, a string, which is I am a string. String objects can also start and end with a double quote, but don't mix them and match them. Yeah, so basically that's what I have just explained to you. Here the same, uh, we, we wrote the same, but uh, we put uh, 
a double quote and if I print it yeah the, it will also return me um, as a text I'm also a string also basically have a note that uh, each of this uh, of your statements it's a good practice to uh, finish with a, a semicolon we can use parentness I used to pass parameters to a function for example here we have a function print and uh, we use parentness to pass uh, parameters into this function if we write print and uh, put uh, uh, parameters uh, into the function, we, uh, the, re the return would be uh, the, uh, the text that we have specified in the function print. Square brackets. Square brackets are used for selecting uh, items within the list. So basically, um, in uh, variables, uh, we can not, not only s um, store the single values or a string, but we can also um, we can also store lists. Like in this example, we have variable my list, and we have uh, three lists uh, that are uh, three words uh, arguments which we pat pass there: eggplant, apple, and wheat. And uh, in the list. Uh, we uh, the the uh, location of each of the um, variables are um, uh, are numbered. So, for example, uh, and the the first uh, location is always started with the uh, location zero. So this is zero. This is one. This is two. So when we would like to print not the whole list, but we would like to print only uh, uh, the first um, item in the list, we will write it, it so, print my list, and we specify a location of uh, the intended variable. Yeah. So if we would put here not zero, but one and run it, the answer would be here apple and if we put the location 2 and again run it you see the answer would be wheat so this is something you have to remember that the list the number of locations in the list start with 0 yeah and what will be if we print just all uh, variable my list yeah you will receive then all of this, um, um, all, all the uh, um, items within the list. So something that you have to bear in mind, if you don't, for, if you don't remember which, uh, basically on which location uh, your uh, item is within the list, you can always print the whole list and here you would see what is the uh, location uh, of the item you are interested in. Yeah. All right, um, curly brackets. Uh, curly brackets or braces can be used to define dictionaries. And uh, dictionaries is also a very important part of JavaScript and they are used, uh, it's like extended um, um, uh, lists and uh, uh, they have uh, uh, value pairs, yeah? So for example, we, in this dictionary, we have uh, three uh, value pairs which actually mix and match. You don't have to have uh, value pairs only in uh, with numbers or strings. The first uh, value pair is food, bread, the second color and red, and the third one number and um, this number is 42. And square brackets can be used to access dictionary items by its key. So let's run it. Here, what we say is that we want to uh, uh, access uh, within the dictionary, my dictionary, a variable, uh, an item, uh, which uh, um, key is color. And this color is red. Yeah. So um, in order to do this, we use, in order to access, uh, to assess the item by its key in the dictionary, we use square brackets. Yeah, or you can use also the dot notation to get the same results, which is maybe easier to 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 
uh, to write. So instead of writing uh, a, a square brackets, you will use my dictionary color and the results will be the same. So I can also write it print my dictionary dot color dot number and the results would be uh, color red and here is not defined maybe like this yeah so my dictionary dot uh, color would uh, uh, return to us color which is red or if you want to uh, assess number you would write print my dictionary number yeah Or you can also write you, if you want to assess both number and color within your dictionary, you can write dot my dictionary variable my dictionary and you are interested in the uh, in, in, in the uh, item. Uh, which is stored under the key number and you're also in interested in the uh, item which is stored under the key color and uh, in order to write this you can use um, uh, dot notation you could also have written it with this um, uh, syntax it's also correct it's just I found with the dot is maybe much handier yeah and the final um, important very important piece of the code which we uh, have to understand is the functions and functions can be defined as a way to reuse code and make it easier to read well um, and a function usually have uh, an argument that should uh, sh you should define yeah and uh, you can pass into the uh, in this uh, arguments uh, different things yeah which we will see in the uh, following examples in um, in our uh, com upcoming uh, lectures so here in this function uh, we basically uh, we define a function which is a string uh, which is string and uh, should return uh, uh, hello world hello and a string uh, which we will define later as well as uh, exclamation sign and when we print this function yeah, the result is hello world. So again, so the, our function, the argument to the function was um, string. Then when you pass into the function, the beginning of the function, its arguments, you also use, you can use this uh, curly brackets and you um, use a word, uh, uh, argument return, hello plus string. So we will have also except of string here hello we will have another string which we will define later and the exclamation sign well it might uh, at the beginning um, look a little bit um, not very clear but i'm sure with our upcoming examples this javascript will become much more clearer for you and you would also understand that it's not uh, that difficult to use it uh, for geospatial analysis for machine learning on the cloud such as google earth engine